Hello, and welcome to Race Gow 2. I'm the creator and host, Dan Sugano, aka FPV Skittles. And as the name implies, Race Gow 2 is the second installment in the Race Gow series. Uh, back in the day, iGow used to have mini UTTs mixed into it. Uh, and then we kind of had a little rift between the racers and the freestylers. One didn't like the other type of um, challenge too much, so we separated them and all mini UTTs became Race Gow. We had our first season last year, and now this is the second version of that. So, uh, the basic idea is still the same. You're gonna set up a predetermined track and fly it, get to your fastest three consecutive laps, submit that, and then you see where you rank against everyone else in the world that's playing. So it's a super fun concept. Um, there are some changes here in Race Gow 2 from Race Gow 1 if you participated before. Um, pay attention. Be sure to check out the website racegow.com for all the changes to the scoring and kind of how the game is going to function. We have a little bit different system instead of like getting letters and getting knocked out. Um, I've set up like these micro tiers. Anyway, we're not going to go over all that now. That'll be in a separate video. Today we're going to focus on building the track. And for building and flying the track, the main differences between Race Gow 1 and Race Gow 2 are one, the area where the track is gonna fit for Race Gow 2 is just a six by six square. Uh, in Race Gow 1, it was six by eight, so a little bigger. Gonna make it even smaller for Race Gow 2. Hopefully it fits in more people's houses. Uh, the six by six square will be where the gates fit, so you will want a little area around the outside of that so you can fly the track optimally. And then one of the other major differences is in Race Gow 1, I required that you have a piece of the PVC gate along the ground for all your gates, otherwise it wasn't a valid gate. And for Race Gow 2, that's not going to be required. Um, if your gate is on the ground, it just needs the three sides, the top and the two sides to be a complete gate. Uh, one other change is the size of the gates. In Race Gow 1, we had a 28 inch open uh, square, in the inside of the square and that made for some pretty big gates. It's based on the Tiny Move Cube gate and it's great for freestyle, but I think for racing, we wanna go a little smaller. So for this season, we're going 24 inches center line to center line of the gates. So I've got three quarter inch PVC. So if I did the absolute minimum 24 inches, center line to center line, then the opening between my gates is what, 23 and a quarter. For cutting your PVC sections, I suggest cutting them at 22 and a half inches, maybe a tiny bit bigger than that. Um, and then with the standard three quarter PV, PVC um, fittings, then that makes your gate just over 24 inches center line to center line, maybe like a quarter or a half inch, depending on how hard you smash the pipe into the fitting. Anyway, Race Gow 2, just like Race Gow 1, basic same um, items. You need 20 sections of PVC. Your section's obviously gonna be shorter now for the 24 inch. And the same fittings, you need four elbows, six of the T's, two of the four ways, and four of the five ways. Anyway, let's get into the building. Again, uh, since there's no base piece required for the gates, um, I would normally build the whole bottom of the track and kind of go up, but uh, this track I'm gonna build in three elements and then kind of combine them together. So our first element is the start gate. So that's our start gate. <clears throat> Let's put that off this side. The second element, element number two we're gonna build is a double stack gate. So we got a double stack with a T on the left. That's element number two. Now, element number three, same thing, another double stack. With a four way up here in the top left corner. All right, so let's put that over here. Now, let's combine the elements. So, first we're going to start our start gate, and that's going to be set up here and connected to that. I'm going to put one section which is going to space to our second element element number two our double stack gate and that's going to be one space away 
from the start gate and in line with the right side of the start gate as you're facing the start gate on the outside. And then similarly, same type of spacing. We're gonna go off the back side of element number two and put a spacer in there. Again, another one gate space. So 24 inches to element number three um, with the four way on the, the far side away here. All right, so now we have our three elements set up in space properly. We've got our start gate, um, one 24 inch space to our element number two double gate, and then one 24 inch space to our second double gate here. Now finally, our last element is the poles. Element number two gets a pole, a vertical pole on the back side. Element number three, it's the same vertical pole, top of the double stack on the back side. And then the one kind of unique element in this track is the horizontal pole that we have coming out of the four way here in the back. And here we have it. Race Scout 2, track number one, build complete. If you have any extra little pieces, you can kind of use them as supports to make the gates a little less wobbly, or you can, if you have extra full sections, you can put them between the gates at the bottom, but it is not required again for Race Scout 2. You do not have to have a section across the bottom of your gates. Anyway, now let's go to the fly through so you can see the path for this track. Here's the fly through for Race Scout 2, track number one. So you're gonna start facing this gate here, which is the start finish gate. And you're gonna fly forward through that, and then to the back uh, ladder, over the top of the horizontal pole, and around the vertical pole. And then you're gonna split us down through the middle gate here, turn right down through the bottom gate, right turn around to the bottom gate here, left turn around the outside of everything, ascending up to the middle gate, left ladder up over the top, then split us over the top of the horizontal pole, around back to the start gate, and that's a lap. So again, uh, ascending up over the pole, split us down to the middle gate, right turn, bottom gate, bottom gate, ascending middle, top, so that's over the horizontal pole and back to the start. All right, so of course then you do three laps for race scout. Get your best three laps in a row. And submit that. See if I can try to go a little bit faster here. This UWL rig. Oh, there we go. We're down. All right, that's Race Scout 2, track number one. Give it a try. Free clean. Oh, we got three in.